Um, this slide summarizes what we will learn in this course. In this course, we have a concrete structure. Concrete structure means it's not common in this country to find concrete structure. Most of the building are made from wood. You know, it's durable, uh, can maintain temperature. Uh, uh, we have many advantage for wood structure, but I'm talking about another type of building, which is called reinforced concrete structure. We have foundation. Most of the time is footing. We have reinforced concrete column. We have reinforced concrete beams. And we have a slab. So if you are at home, you are walking on a slab. So we have reinforced concrete slab. So the main parts of any concrete structure are four parts. We have slab, beam, column, foundation. We will learn in this course how to design each of them manually with your hand. And by the end of the semester, during your project, how to use a software to construct or to design this building. Also, we will cover retaining wall. We will cover something called pre-stressed concrete. What is the meaning of pre-stressed? And finally, uh, we will cover two software, uh, Reza Flow and Reza Foundation. Last semester, you learned Reza 2D. So by the end of this semester, you will have three softwares next semester for steel i will add another one or two so you will uh, be familiar with the family of reza 2d floor foundation connection all of this stuff so let's start i would like also before starting to uh, uh, provide you with the story what is story in uh, in a course in the course of um, structure analysis we learned that we have external forces on a building that means we have internal forces in the form of axial force shear force bending moment that's right last semester we learned it in uh, structure analysis course that we have a beam this beam has external forces, probably concentrated force, distributed load, concentrated moment. These external forces will create internal forces in the form of axial force, shear force, and depending moment. In our course, we will use these internal forces to design. Wow. That means the first step in our problems, the first step in this course, you need to figure out what are the internal forces. But I will not ask you to go back to structure analysis and review what you learned. I will ask you, you can use the 2D to get your internal forces. Then I will teach you how to design based on the internal forces. With Dr. O, during the course of uh, mechanics of material, I think, or uh, strength of material, you learned that sigma stresses equal MC over I. You learned during this course, engineer, uh, material, uh, mechanics of materials, I think, tau equal Mm, Q V over I time B. You learn it sigma equal force divide area. So in a different course, you learned stresses. 
how to convert the internal forces to stresses. We have an existing building with internal forces, so I can figure out the stresses. If you don't have building, we don't have existing building. We need to create the building. So we need to design the building. We don't have it. So I will assume I will analyze the building, which is not exist. Uh, analyze the building, design the building to make it exist. Okay, so I, I would like you to understand what's going on. What is the main purpose of uh, uh, mechanics of material? What is the main purpose of structure analysis? What is the main purpose of this course? This course is only design. We need to translate these internal forces to design. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Uh, we are talking about concrete structure. Next semester, we will talk the same sentence, but for steel structure. If you have a whole, uh, a whole house or something like this, so you can design using the course of steel structure. What is the concrete? What is the meaning of concrete? Just introduction. I, I believe all of you know what is the meaning of concrete. Probably you watch boring of concrete around your area around your house probably in your house uh during your uh, internship or something like this concrete means we have three main gradient ingredient i'm sorry three main ingredients we have aggregate we have cement we have water. Aggregate, probably, we have coarse aggregate, which is gravel, stones. We have fine aggregate, which is sand. So we have coarse aggregate. We have fine aggregate. We have cement. We have water. Three main topics. Without these three, you have something different than concrete. You have something else. Probably mortar or uh, whatever. OK, so we have aggregate. We have cement. We have water. Mix them together. You can get plain concrete. Okay. Water is very important. Without water, you don't have concrete. Because water with cement will do something called hydration. Will make the concrete to harden. Hardening of concrete is the responsibility of water plus cement if you don't have enough water in the concrete mix you don't have enough hydration you don't have enough hardening so water is very important so because water is very important we have something called curing of concrete after boring of concrete you need to maintain water on concrete for probably seven days so after boring every day you need to spread water on the concrete surface so you have hose and you have source of water and you need to spread the water as a water on the concrete surface probably for seven days why to maintain water in concrete why to maintain the hydration 
process why because a hydration process is a chemical reaction this reaction between water and cement are responsible for hardening of concrete without this hydration process we don't have hardening we don't have concrete we have something else okay i have question once i put water to cement do you think hardening will happen no so we have something called setting the time of concrete we have initial setting time we have final setting time initial setting time means uh, your the viscosity of concrete becomes um, uh, viscous it's not liquid or not hardened but something in between this is called initial setting time Some, uh, sometimes probably between 30 to 60 minutes it's very important we have initial setting time why because if you once you put your water to cement and you have hardening no way to uh, translate concrete from a position to another position from the concrete mixer or concrete plant to the site of construction so we have something called initial setting time probably between 30 to 60 minutes we have final setting time probably uh, 10 hour or more 24 hour uh, final setting time means concrete is very hard you can walk on it without uh, any marks or any uh, thing on the concrete surface after final setting you can walk on the concrete surface without any issue but for initial setting no you still stuck with the concrete surface if you walk on the concrete surface your leg will stuck in the concrete and probably you will do some marks on the concrete surface okay so we have three different main ingredient we have water for hydration with cement we have setting the time initial setting the time and the final setting the time we have curing of concrete which is very important if i didn't cure concrete after pouring i will lose uh, the water will be lost if the water lost during the hot weather like here in texas uh, if you lost water rapidly, hydration process will not complete, will, will not be completed, and the hardening of concrete will not happen. So you will have weak, very weak concrete. 